Good morning, everyone. So today is the day. Today will be my last day working as a data engineer. I have been working this role for pretty much two years, and I worked as a data analyst and then progressed to become a data engineer. Um, and then I'm deciding to go to grad school, so I guess it's time. It's about time. I have been waiting for this day for the longest time. It sounds like I hate my job, but I don't. Um, maybe. No. <laughs> So first thing first is to finish the documentation. So I built this pipeline that involves um, cleaning the data and then running the data through the in-house algorithm, as well as doing some you know, reformatting, things like that. So it has over a thousand lines of code, which to some people is, a, is not a lot, but to me it's quite a lot, especially it's something that I built from the ground. Um, I did this in Python and Python is the main language I use at work majority of the time. So unless it's uh, I'm running some you know statistic analysis and if I'm really particular about the data visualization, then I would um, use R. But I think for now Python has all you needed, even the statistical analysis part, different like statistical tests. There's already you know built library in Python that you can just use. Um, so yeah, I think. If you're interested in becoming a data analyst or data engineer or data scientist, even anything related to data, definitely try to get familiar with Python pretty much and or other languages you're comfortable with. But I think Python is really one of the most popular languages people default to. break and I just realized that as I'm working through the documentation it's really hard for me to remember what the hell I was doing six months ago just because I started uh, build up this pipeline like I think almost like over six months for sure yeah, and um, I didn't do any sort of documentation so which is really bad it's also because our like development cycle is really fast, so I didn't have any chance to do any code refactoring. So right now, since I'm wrapping up work, I really need to write a documentation to describe you know each steps and why I'm doing each steps. So one tip I would give is that document everything and document everything at the start of your work. So when you start a new project, just document every step, what is the thinking process and what conclusions you derive from that. And if you need to you know, dig out the work you did six months ago, you won't be lost. Um, so right now I'm really struggling because <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was doing back then. And it's really hard for me to kind of remind, remember that. Tip number one, document everything and write notes. So I actually got a chicken bummy. After lunch, I'll have a code walkthrough with my team members so I think um, for the people who need to take over my job I need to give them some sort of like walkthrough of my code in case they need to make some changes in the future um, and I think they will also record the whole code walkthrough so hope that goes smoothly I'm having the meeting right now I'm taking another break. I'm thinking might as well give you guys some background knowledge about my current role and how I shift from data analyst to data engineer. So when I just started my current role, my job involves in clean the data, um, including coming up with different QC algorithms to clean the data. I actually spent a huge chunk of my time just trying to clean data, um, which 
at first before getting into this role it was kind of unexpected i thought my role will be you know writing pipelines to process data and clean data shouldn't be that bad but because of the nature of the data we don't really have the same type of outliers so it really required us to come up with flexible algorithms to do outlier detection. So after doing the outlier detection, I would run statistical analysis on the clean data and then also derive insights. So either running stats to kind of derive insights or find ways to visualize it so it's easier to do derived insights. In terms of data visualization, my company starts adopting Tableau, which is a really powerful data visualization tool. Uh, before taking on this role, I have no idea what Tableau is and how to use it. It's actually easier to use compared to R for data visualization. Visualization looks really clean and professional using Tableau, and you can also build really nice dashboards which summarize all the different findings you have. So within one dashboard, you can have like multiple figures. The dashboards can be really interactive. And so if you have a meeting with stakeholders and I want to have, because for me, we have weekly meetings to update our stakeholders about our, you know, data review, data findings. That's where I would use, utilize Tableau to create dashboards. So because I don't know any Tableau, I actually just went on YouTube and there are so many um, really useful Tableau tutorials. And then some of the videos actually give you a lot of detailed steps where you can create a really nice and beautiful um, dashboards. So at one point I'm super obsessed. So I just, I love playing with visualizations and different co colors. So sometimes it we realized I would spend hours on just to make my figures look pretty. And then as my career progressed, I started to adopting, I guess, projects that's more algorithm focused. So essentially the job requires me to come up with a lot of more in-house algorithm to kind of derive patterns of the data. This part is more, I guess, programming heavy. I'm done. Guys, so I just finished sending my last email to the whole team just to you know wrap up everything and give them a heads up that I did all the documentation and where they can find the documentation. So I'm officially free. I can't believe I'm actually officially done with my work. It's been two years and this feels too good to be true, but I'm just gonna reward myself for a big, big meal tonight. I'm just gonna eat, um, I'm planning to eat hot pot. So I'll grab some supplies from the grocery store and start cooking. I can't wait. Hot pot is my favorite.